The 2021 KMEA District 8 High School Snare Etude is comprised of concepts fundamental to the developing percussionist in both the concert and rudimental styles of snare drum playing. Before you even start the etude, you should have some idea of tempo in mind. Mentally and physically provide yourself a few measures of this tempo before you start. I like quietly clicking the middle of my tongue to the roof of my mouth so only I hear it. Kind of like this. Be sure to also allow your whole body to breathe the beat before you play. You see that I slightly lift my elbows and my hands are raised so that the first notes of the etude sound full and provide a nice mezzo forte dynamic level. In measure 2, the lesson 25s on beats 1 and 2 can be thought of as having a diddle on the second note of each grouping. This note should be evenly divided into two 30 second notes. Some agogic direction may be added to lead into beat 3 of the same measure, but be sure that after playing the flam on the and of 3 that your hands are set up for the following piano dynamic by leaving your hands in a downstroke position near the drum head. You see that I also move towards the back bearing edge of the drum. This small 5 stroke roll is the perfect opportunity for you to relax the grip a bit and let the roll sing smoothly. Measures 4 and 5 play on the concept of 16th note timing to provide a solid forte dynamic by using full rebound strokes. Let the 16th note rest be your friend and give yourself some time to breathe and for the sticks to float in those spots. Be sure to also precisely time the downbeat of measure 5. There is more space in that quarter note than you want there to be. Moving into measure 6, you should downstroke the preceding flam to set yourself up for the suito piano just as you did at the end of measure 2. As before, consider loosening your grip to let the sticks buzz smoothly and seamlessly on the drum head for the 9 stroke rolls. The flams at the end of measure 7 should represent three distinct dynamic levels. You may consider each to be a piano, mezzo piano, and mezzo forte respectively. In measures 8, keep the hands moving and consider that the timing of the inner smaller notes are more important than the accents. The accents should stick out of the texture of the 16ths, but they are outnumbered here. In measures 9, be sure to keep the timing and spacing of the quarter notes consistent as well as the flam taps between. This may mean that you need to stroke out each of the flam taps a bit more than you feel at the given tempo. Finally, the last two measures are a repeated motive that decays until the very end. Keep the five strokes consistent in their sticking and use zoning on the drum head to give a bit more attention to not only the dynamic contrast from beginning to end, but also the timbral or color contrast from a fuller sound near the middle of the head and a lighter sound as you move towards the bearing edge. With the etude concluded, see if you can note all of the different rudiments used throughout. Hint, there's seven of them.